Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a What Sold Sunday on a Monday. Yes. You're lucky. Lucky. Y'all, we are not lucky. <laughs> Texas is crazy right now. Everything is frozen. Everything. Solid. Frozen solid. It's seven degrees outside and Texas was not made for this. No. Pipes are frozen. The roof is leaking. Our pet heads are falling off. Like everything is going. Mojo. <laughs> not this. Come here, Mojo. If you're new here, welcome. We're hey, not yeah, always buddy. this feisty, yeah. but we've been going through some stuff, so. It's been a day. Good vibes, please. Hey, buddy. Hey, guy. This is our cat, Mojo. He likes to be into videos. <laughs> so give Mojo a like. Give him a like. We've got a lot to talk about. We had a really good week. Yep. Really good week. Um, Almost $2,000. Yes. Yes. Almost $2,000 in sales. It was great. Uh, we're going to start off with Poshmark like we do every week. Yep. We started off with this pair of Fry Melissa button boots. We love the Fry Melissa button boots. These sold for $140. And we sell every pair that we pick up. Every pair. Every they don't, pair. They don't all sell for $140. This was a rare full price Poshmark sale. Yeah. Never happens. No. But you can always expect about $100. Yeah. We list them high. You know, because Poshmark. Right, right. Uh, we got this shirt listed right on Dolly Parton's birthday, yeah, right? It's so good. <laughs> this sold for 20 bucks. It was a What Would Dolly Do t-shirt. I loved it. Loved it. It was like an Amazon special or something, you know? It just has the size tag. It was nothing special, but nope. the graphic was killer, and a fellow Posher bought it. Yes. All right. We got a pair of Guess corduroy pants sold for $18. Don't buy these. Don't buy buy those why not because we had them they were number 405 <laughs> and we're in the 2500s now we've had those a long time yes we have we bought we paid a dollar but we've paid more than that to store them yeah it was quite a bit of storage we have also a speedo i think it was this is like the almost the last one yeah the speedo new with tags yikes hey buddy navy blue swimsuit sold for 15 dollars we paid a dollar for it. It's good. Oh my god, this guy. He knows we're super stressed. When we're stressed, Mojo is <laughs> like crazy. Yep. All right. We got a, this was nice. Good sale. A Michael Kors hooded puffer coat. A long puffer coat sold for $75. Yes. Yeah, man. We paid 11 bucks or something like this uh, in the B&G box. Yeah. It was new with tags. I had it listed for twice that much. But it's the end of the season and it's huge. So we were like. Get it. Out of here. Bye. All right. We got a Lisse V-neck knit stretch lounge top sold for $22. We've also had this a long time. I do like yep. this brand. Yeah. But you have to good. wait for the right buyer. You do. You, you have to wait. Be. It's got to sit for a little while. Yeah. It is still sitting, packed up and ready to ship out downstairs because, well, it's President's Day and the post office is closed. And like I said, we're frozen in. So we're Snow. going nowhere. Snowwhere. Snowwear. <laughs> we got a Ted Baker uh, full zip cardigan sold for 50 bucks. This sold really fast. It sure did. Uh, I think I re I listed it from eBay onto Poshmark and it sold that night. Right? Crosslist your stuff, people. Yep. And then last but not least on Poshmark was this Michael Starrs uh, Milano V-neck cardigan, new with tags, sold for $40. That's an anomaly. Michael Stars does not sell for me. No. But this, I mean, it sat for a long time, but it finally was sold. That's good. 40 yeah, bucks. Yeah, this was also from the B&G haul. It right? was, yeah. And then we're going to move right on to eBay. We're skipping Mercari because we sold nothing on Mercari all week. Is that true? I'm pretty sure that's true. No? Um... I don't think so. Yeah. I know. It was no How good. do we sell on my car? <laughs> Sometimes we have, you know. What do you got to do over there? We got a couple rolling in. Otherwise, other weeks, not so much. But we did have a really, really good week on eBay. You guys, eBay has been crushing it. We yeah. got a, just got a new message about something. Oh, God. <laughs> but so we got a lot of sales to cover. The first one is this vintage cobalt glass bee fly insect trap. 
that came in a miscellaneous box in an auction, right? Yes. Souls for... Hold on. Oh. Right here. It's up here. Look up here. Hey, where? It's over here. If you here. want to know how we do auctions, <laughs> we made a little yeah. short and sweet video on how we kind of go about buying things at online auctions. Yeah. So check it out. Check it out, please. This sold for 25 bucks. Anything with bees on it. Bees and cats. So, it, in it, my opinion. It, right? It's weird how yeah. that happens. Um, yeah, we sold some more deodorant. Yes, another five pack of Old Spice. The Pure Sport sold for 20 bucks. And the guy left me really, really good feedback. He was like, he left five sentences and they were all two word sentences. It was like, great job, good packaging, super fast delivery. I'm impressed. <laughs> Is that a haiku? Maybe. 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 Okay. So that's what you get here. You get haikus about Old Spice. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for subscribing. Right? Please subscribe. We have fun here. We sold a Panasonic Omnivision combo VHS and DVD player. Love the combos. Yes. we. Uh, I tested this. I think we picked this up at Goodwill. Maybe. Yo, this man tests his things with a VHS a Friday. The movie Friday. Every time I walk in the kitchen, he's playing Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? And then the DVD is my show called Life. So yes. we're just kicking it old school with our testing station. We have fun. We it's have good. fun with it. Like you I gotta said, gotta have fun. So this sold for seventy five bucks. Yes. yes. And, and the I'm... trick to, is to include some like yeah. AV cables with it. You just include them. Throw in some RCA cables so they can hook it up. No big deal. It makes it look fancy. We didn't even have the remote for this. Don't. Yeah. Seventy five just... bucks. Seventy-five bucks, and Come it, on. there you go. Come on. We sold a Starbucks mug, the Starbucks 2017 Hearts mug. Somebody bought this for Valentine's Day, I'm sure. It sold for sixteen dollars plus four shipping. Love anything. The Starbucks ceramic mm -hmm. do much better than the Starbucks plastic. Okay, we're not talking about the studded tumblers. I'm talking about vintage Starbucks. You know, like the plastic ones. Those are hard to sell, but the ceramic. Right, yes. and then there's the collab ones that do really well too. Love the collabs. Guys, we sold the uh, Wagner Ware, that the big we, roaster that we spent eight hours polishing over two days, and it killed my hands. Yeah. We sold it. Sold it for a hundred and twenty nine ninety five. Do you want to tell them the trick about the Wagner Ware? What 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 trick? So it wasn't level. Yeah, the bottom like it had a high spot. So when you set it on the counter, it was like ee, you could spin it. And we were like, oh no. Oh no. So I. Got on the Google. I was like, how do you fix this? It's all made out of aluminum. So they were like, heat it up and put Bash a towel it. on it and whack it with a hammer. <laughs> like, okay. He did not inform me of this. I walk in and this man is going to town on this expensive vintage product, whamming it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? It's like, I got it. I got it under control. He did. And I fixed it. Fixed it. I fixed it. Yes. Yes. We, we would pick this up again. Absolutely. Yes. But we would clean it differently. All right, moving on. Yeah, you would make me clean it. <laughs> I'm not doing it, y'all. I'm, I'm allergic to whatever is in the cleaners for pots and pans. That bar, barkeeper's friend. I'm yeah. allergic. It did the number on your hands. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Moving on. We sold this Peloton water bottle that you, you say found. Peloton. 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 That's how I say it. Tomato, tomato, right? But Peloton is a theme this week. It was the week of the Peloton. Seriously, we got some random Peloton stuff. Yeah. And it all sold. If you this see it, pick it up. This was the first one. The water bottle sold for twenty four ninety five. For a water bottle. Yeah, it was nice. Glass water bottle. I think we picked it up at the thrift for three bucks or something. Glass. I wouldn't have paid. It was a dollar fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Yes. So we sold this North Face scarf. I went a little scarf happy a couple of days ago. It was weird. Yeah. It was real I, I don't know what happened. I was like, I got to check these scarves. <laughs> <laughs> we listed like 20 scarves. I let them go. And this it's... one sold right away. The brown North Face scarf for 20 bucks plus four shipping. Yeah. Maybe somebody wanted it to go with their new super trendy brown North Face jacket. I thought about that when I listed it because it got a lot of interest. But it's yeah. the Denali kind of fleece. Right. And um, they weren't as like it's not the puffer coat. But I thought the brown. Get out of here with your puffer coat. The brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what did it. The brown is making a comeback, apparently. Brown. Um, let's see what else we got. A Hugo Boss double breasted, forty six long Al Capone blazer. Dan makes fun of me every time. Got it right in this area. Thirty five bucks plus twelve shipping. 
if anybody gets that reference. Another 90s movie. <laughs> what is this thing? This is a Squishmallow. Gesundheit. Squishmallow. Squishmallow. It's hot. It, apparently they're hot. This thing sold for $11 plus four shipping. It sold within 20 hours. Minutes. No, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of yeah. us listing. It was crazy. It, maybe I listed it too low. I don't know. I did get this offer. It's an offer. But I was like, okay. we paid 50 cents for it. Okay, 11 bucks. Yeah, sure. Here you go. It's probably worth more. And like stuffed it into this little He squished the box. mellow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It went okay. first class. It so was... plush doesn't go for a lot, but it, it makes steady income. Yeah, it's that's, weird. That's what we do. We that's... just sell plush and it gets sales. Out of the, and you usually get it in the bags. You get it in the, the big bags. miscellaneous <laughs> bags. So we sold, it was random stuff. We sold this Scholastic I Spy Spooky Mansion Deluxe PC, uh, PC CD-ROM game. Tell the people. Ten bucks. Tell the people. Tell I... them. Tell, tell. No. No, it's so good. No. I got I, these out of I made fun of her for getting these. I was like, nobody's going to buy these games. They're like, like, is Windows 98? That's from Windows 98. Windows. Nobody wants this. <laughs> they sold the first day. <laughs> they did. We sold the first <laughs> So this was the first one. It sold for 10 bucks. And then this Alice in Wonderland, like creepy Alice in Wonderland, uh, sold for 25 bucks. The reason I bought the lot is because I wanted to play that game. Yep. Yeah. But then we realized we didn't have a computer to play that game. Yeah. And so it sold in a day. And I didn't get to play it. Didn't get to play I it. I wanted to play the creepy Alice mystery game. I'm it had so... a mystery book, too. I know. I don't, so my, cool. our, my new, my, the PC doesn't even have a CD box. We, we can't play drive. these. It's games. got nothing. Somebody can. Somebody can. Somebody else is going to enjoy this. You found this vintage 1965 Snoopy and Woodstock stationery. Uh, and this sold for $15 plus four shipping. It was not brand new in the package. It was opened. A couple of sheets were missing, but most of it was still there. Somebody loved this and bought it. I paid for yeah. 25 cents and it had Snoopy on it from 1965. I'm always going to buy 25 cents Snoopy. 25 cents into 15. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's like a rule of thumb or something like that. Oh, this one. Okay, moving on. You want to tell the people about the mug? You guys, if I see something that's from a high school or a college and has a year on it i can't leave it there <laughs> it's somebody's memento and it needs to go back this one was from sayville sayville new york What's sayville high school class of 1972. so i bring it back to the cart and dan's like no i'm like no we have to return it it has to go back to sayville it does not belong in dallas texas it sold immediately to somebody in sayville new york <laughs> for 12 dollars plus eight shipping yes it's going home going home you guys <laughs> this is the part of reselling i love is like returning <laughs> treasures to their natural habitat you're so excited i was so happy. i'm still look at me i'm still <laughs> so excited we're in the polar vortex and i'm still excited yeah everything is freezing outside it's it's fine we're fine great speaking of great we sold the last batch of these Pillsbury. Batch. I like how you said batch. Cause... What's a batch of four? They're cookies. It's a batch, That's right? Cute. They're birthday cake bars. We sold four boxes and a lot for 18 bucks. Um, we probably made like a few dollars literally on this because bad buy. Bad buy. They were expensive to ship. I had to stuff them in a poly mailer and they were still like $10, $11. You ship. sent those in a poly mailer? Yeah, man. Box in a bag. <laughs> Y'all, he does some questionable shipping sometimes. I try not to look. All right. We got an Orvis Tweed Black and White yeah, Herringbone Blazer. This 46 long sold right away for 100 bucks. No offers, no right, nothing. Full price. Somebody was like, I want that Orvis Blazer. It's a three button. I didn't think it was going to sell this fast. But hey. Orvis. We were late to the Orvis. We've been on it. Yep. Late. Um, most things that we have that are Orvis will sell. I thought Orvis was like old man brand or something. Mojo did too. Yes. He's fine. Um, but he, he just had a snack. He wants everybody to know. It was good. And anyway, but it's not. And people, it's got a cult following. Yeah. And this was Tweed and it was ultra old man grandpa looking, but yeah. it's kind of trendy, you know? Yeah. The Tweed, the Tweed is hot right now. All right, what else? We got a pair of Merrill shoes, the Mock MOC Midnight Slip-Ons, sold for $34, plus free free shipping. We gave these away. Gave them away. But hey. They were kind of ugly. 
I'm going to say it's a little, 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 little bit ugly. But I bet they're comfortable. They're Merrill. That's good. Yeah, people love their Merrills. Yeah, so. we've had them. So. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I, found, I saw this at the thrift. It was a Microsoft, the ergonomic natural keyboard, the black one. These that. are apparently rare. Er. The white the ones. The white ones. But I knew. I was like, I think you... Some... I, I knew this was a good buy. I don't know how I knew it, but it was in a video that you were watching or something. Yeah. It's a mouse. And it clicked. Too. It remembered. I was like, oh, I know that's good. And I grabbed it. I know, buddy. I grabbed it from the thrift and it was like eight bucks or five bucks, ten ninety nine, half off or something. Five it's bucks. Downstairs. Oh, God. This is going to be interesting. We have a leak from our roof in front of his litter box. He's going to investigate it. Mm hmm we might hear some shouting and there's a siren outside this is what happens the keyboard sold for 60 bucks you guys 60 dollars plus eight shipping that's yes. amazing for like an old crusty keyboard we did take the compressed air crusty. well i cleaned it with the wipes and then you took the duster oh this too yeah we sold some more old electronics the ti 5155 vintage printing calculator i wanted to keep you it. wanted to keep this thing so bad i wanted to get <laughs> with my press on nails oh i wanted to do it so bad uh i tested it it worked it pr it still printed the black and the red ribbons both still worked uh this sold for 22 bucks plus 12 shipping got it to fit in a flat rate medium box cool somebody is enjoying that right now we sold a broken printer Four so, parts printer. Printer. When you buy printers, this mm -hmm. is what we learned. Learn with us. Um, a lot of times you'll get them home and the ink has dried out in them, and yeah. then the printer head, whatever the heck that is, mm -hmm. gets destroyed. Yeah, it fails. It fails. And it costs more to put a new printer head in than it does what the printer's worth. Yep. And so we're like, oh, bad buy, but we mm -hmm. paid $10 for it. And I'm like, just, just, just sell it. You sell, people sell stuff for parts on eBay. So, okay. I listed it. Uh, I tried to fix the print head. I actually went online and tried to do it. Um, I cleaned it, everything. Still didn't work. So I listed it. It powers on. Print head needs replacement. This is for parts only. No power cord included. And somebody still bought it for, get this, $30 plus $25 shipping. For parts. For parts. Now, this isn't any printer, okay? If it's like a regular desktop model that you get at Costco or something like that, no, no. These are like Pixmas, like... It's a photo printer. I photo think. printers. Higher quality, like, prosumer printers. Don't go picking up any Good HP word. and trying to flip it. Just don't look it that. up. Look it up before you buy it. If the printer's worth over $100, solds, mm -hmm. go to your solds. If it's over $100, then I'd say maybe. Maybe. All right. Even for parts. You guys, we sold another glass bottle. <laughs> Not for $100 this time, but for $20 plus eight shipping. This was a green vintage Wheaton vegetable jaundice bitters bottle. Whatever that is. We don't care. Don't know, don't care. It said Richmond, Virginia on it, so I had to buy it. That's right, yeah. Guys, I sold another magic card. Nerd alert. <laughs> <laughs> 12 bucks. Come hey, on, 12 bucks. All day, every day. Free shipping. Um, I'm able to ship this with eBay's new uh, standard envelope feature, which is 51 cents, yes. specifically for trading cards. I know it's cold down there, buddy. I'm sorry. He's fine. Uh, we got <laughs> we got this Webkin's little tiny gray plush elephant. <laughs> I don't Maybe know. It's sold for 16 bucks. All right, here's the key with the Webkins, because we find them everywhere. You will see. He Mojo, really is fine. he loves the Webkins. <laughs> here's the key to get to sell them for anything. They have to have the little tag that's in plastic because it has a thing you can scan. Yeah. Don't buy a Webkin. Are we even saying that right? I don't know. We don't know. Don't buy it if it doesn't have the plastic tag. That's all I'm saying. That's the lesson. Okay. Yahtzee! 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 Deluxe Edition, the one with the gold dice. This was this was a gift. We found that you found this. It was totally complete, with the exception of the pencils. Er, didn't have the pencils, but come on. Still had plenty of score sheets, all eight tokens, the cup, the dice, everything was there. Sold for fifty bucks plus four shipping. Yes. We buy any board game. 
for the most part that's deluxe or special edition or like anything that has gold or 50th anniversary right except for trivial pursuit in those dang seen it Mm -mm. dvd what are those ones called no don't get those yeah don't get those um and yes we will be selling more Yahtzee because my grandfather passed away from COVID and we used to play Yahtzee together all the time. And now all I see is Yahtzee. He's sending us Yahtzees. Send in the Yahtzee. So stay tuned, subscribe, and watch our What Souls and you will see more Yahtzees. That's right. Sisses. All right. We got, you guys, any metal fans? Queensryche, Operation Live Crime DVD, ultra rare, apparently. We got this at the thrift, I think it was 65 cents. Something like that. So here comes out this card. I like to tell stories. Oh, this is a good story. This the card the comes card. out, and I'm grabbing everything off the cart because, first of all, pink was 75% off, and everything coming out on the new cart was pink. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh. <laughs> and there's three of cards. And so I'm grabbing all the toys. I'm grabbing everything off this cart. I was like, what are you doing? And then I see all these metal DVDs, and I know metalheads, and they will pay for some rare DVDs. And they uh -huh. all look kind of like homemade a little bit, you know, like a little, like a bee subway. Bootleg, Bootleg, that's the word. So I grab them all, like, yeah, look these up. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And th there were some good. Uh huh, a couple of good ones. But this was by far the best one. I think we actually paid like 22 cents or something because yeah. it was 75% off of the 65 cents that right. was marked. Yeah. Which is um, not 22. I don't know. It was very cheap. It was very cheap. Super cheap. Very cheap. But it sold for $34. And that's because we took an offer. We couldn't hold out. No, it was on sale. It that's was what on it was. Sale. We had it listed for 40 and we ran a flash sale for 15% off. Right. Because why not? We need some sales. But and, most of them were listed at 60, 70, 80. Yeah, and a sealed one went for well over 100. So I don't know that you'll ever find this, but the, the <laughs> disc was scratched to hell. And I put that in the description. Yep. You tested it? I did. I did. I put it in my old computer and it, it played. Was, it was playing. It was, it great. was something. <laughs> <laughs> Sold more Swiffers. The last two boxes of Swiffers. Bye. Got them out of here. Uh, $27. Mm. Something about the pet was better. Or something it was bad. Bye. Don't uh, do that. Don't, yeah, don't do that. Clifford, we sold it. Hey, wait, who was it in our comments that had the big Clifford? Oh. Somebody lost money and no paid. Somebody paid a customer to to we buy look it up. a Clifford. Since then, all we find is Clifford. We found a lot of Cliffords, and we, I'm not gonna. We wanted to Clifford bomb you. We're gonna Clifford bomb. We're you just gonna it. send Cliffords in the mail to you. Who are you? We forgot. Dang it. All right, this one sold for 10 bucks uh, plus shipping. So, okay, we'll take it. Uh, this Matilda Jane top sold for 22. This is the Joanna Gaines collaboration. Right. If you find that Matilda Jane with Joanna Gaines, it sells every time. Every time. Every time. Er, every time. These two. These two. We sold the Ugg boots. A, the Bailey triple button ones. The ones that you found for yourself and ended up keeping. I had to try them on, and then they were warm. My so, feet were cold. Yeah, and then they stayed. But then I found another pair. We found another pair that sold for 55 Yes, plus 12 shipping. These Ugg boots, you guys, even if they're not pristine, they go. <laughs> yeah, they're boxed up, ready to go. This, and so this, is this. This sale. This, this is a good story, okay? This is a vintage 1990s electronic dream phone board game. This sucker is complete. It has all the pieces. It has all the cards. I opened up the phone. Hold on. Okay. Back up. Back up. We were in reseller crazy town at the thrift. Everybody was a reseller. Everybody's scanning everything. This one guy's in the game aisle for like 45 minutes. And then he leaves this. And I go, I had this game. I'm 37 years old. And when I had a game and it's at the thrift, it's popular again, mm -hmm. right? And I'm like, oh my God. So I'm running through the store with this game, trying to find Dan. His cart's overflowing with suits, and I'm like, make some <laughs> And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, this game's worth $150 if it's complete. And then, so we didn't know. I didn't, yeah. Okay, we, now you can finish. Okay, now. So where was I? I opened up the phone, right? I yeah. opened up the battery case to the phone, and to my dismay, it has still has batteries in it. And two of them is burst and all burst corroded. Is. It's not good, okay? So I pry out the nasty corroded batteries. Two of the terminals are have are covered in corrosion from the batteries. I don't know what the, this is supposed to represent. <clears throat> uh, I take the thing apart and I'm looking. And luckily, it's not the ones that are connected to the board. It's the in-between ones. 
So I'm looking at it and I'm able to pry them out. So oh. I did, I got the two, it's like a little piece of metal with the spring. I got both of them out and I soaked them overnight in Coca-Cola. Because I remember from way back, my dad teaching me, if your battery terminals on your, your car get all corroded, you that's just pour true. some Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's true. My dad taught me that too. It's See? true. That's dad knowledge. So I, I soaked them overnight in Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. We had to buy one special because we don't drink Coca-Cola anymore. We have and, it in our reseller kit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it worked. It soaked overnight and got in there with a Q-tip, cleaned all the corrosion off, put new batteries in, and the phone powered right up. It was ringing. I was just in <laughs> tears of happiness. Oh my God. Nostalgia. I was wheat beak with nostalgia. Everything works. It tested and it sold for $127.50 international up to Canada. When something sells international, it goes to Kentucky and you don't have to think about it ever again. Yay. Cannot get returned. Yes. Because we have some things coming back, guys. That's don't talk about that. It's part of the joy of being an eBay seller, being top rated. You have to take returns. What was that? We sold another VCR. Just a VCR, not a combo. This was a Samsung. Uh, no remote. It tested. Played Friday like a charm. We got a message about it. Uh, the lady wanted to know if the record function worked. So I plugged it back in and tested it. Records worked. I recorded a little static or whatever from a direct, no, digital TV thing. Works. Center message. Works. She bought it. $51 plus 12 shipping. VCRs, man. VCRs are hot. They're popping on eBay. But they don't always work, so test if you can. Yeah. And test it's, at the store. Yeah, it's tough to do that sometimes. And they're harder to sell for parts. Anyway. Anyway, we remember the Starbucks mugs? The collaborations? This is one of those. Uh, I ran across this at the thrift. This is the Starbucks with Alice and Olivia. All ceramic. Even the lid is ceramic. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. It was... Yeah, there was a guy looking through the mugs. He left, and I was like, Starbucks ones, grab. Uh, it was $18 plus eight shipping. That's great. Yeah. I think it, it, I thought that they would go for more, but there's one with a tutu, an oh. actual tutu. Like oh, really? Fabric. Okay. That one went for more, but this one was a man's cup. Did you know? I did not know that. Because it's a tuxedo. Because it has the bow tie. Yeah, so it was like a bride and groom set. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to know. You guys, we sold a pair of... To boot New York shoes. The monk strap black dress shoes sold for one oh six twenty five. This was full full price with the sale, right? No yeah. offers, nothing. Somebody yep. just came in and was like, I need those shoes. And hey, can you send them to my California address? Sure. Sure, we can send them to your California okay. address. Shoe Absolutely. Boot is a really good um, specialty brand from New York. Yeah, yeah, retail the shoes are probably four or five hundred bucks. But the reason that it's extra good because there's a lot of things that retail high. Yeah. This is extra good because it's a boutique. It's a very specialized brand. He's snacky. Very snacky, this guy. All right. We, the Peloton puzzle. We saw, remember, week of the Peloton. Water bottle sold earlier and then this random puzzle that you found. Still shrink wrapped, factory sealed, so we knew all the pieces were there. Uh, it sold on sale for twenty one twenty one plus four shipping. Y'all know me. If it's got a barcode and self name, I'll buy it. And Peloton. Scan it. Like, what is it? Yeah. All the like, all the branded workout stuff is pretty popular. Who knew? Who knew? We don't have that. Sold more magic cards. Yeah. That <laughs> nerd paper. <laughs> Sold for eight fifty. This one free shipping. Again, was able to ship it with the standard envelope, so it's only fifty one cents. Love it. No, look at this guy. You guys seen The Secret Life of Pets? We have not. We have not. I don't know. Apparently, this is the big dog, Duke. Ty made a mini plush of him. He's super cute, like this big. Sold really, really fast for 13 bucks, free shipping. I mean, it took me 30 seconds to list it. You 30 seconds to photograph it. That stuff is easy. And it cost us 20 cents. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. And that dog was cute. Super cute. I'm stuffed into a little envelope. He's fine. He's on his way. <laughs> you guys, we sold another scanner. We can't stop selling scanners. Not before you freak out. It's not the $800 scanner. No. This was an Epson Workforce scanner that we got where? 
Uh, Facebook Marketplace, I think. Of a Facebook Marketplace. Yes. That is true. Ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Ten, 10 bucks. bucks. Flipped it for a hundred and forty dollars. Yep. Mm. And with anything this, we did free shipping on this. Uh, with anything this large and bulky, you definitely want to ship UPS ground over postal service. Mm -hmm. uh, it is at least half the cost. Uh, with big stuff and don't do fedex ground don't do it they trick you they i did it one you, time they charge you four dollars on your ebay account when they deliver it to someone's house not cool man. but they don't tell you right that they're doing that i'm like hmm. yeah so we have to go back and add four more bucks to our stupid fedex delivery that is okay. that the one that's coming back the boots i think that's the boots hmm. Hmm. so now we gotta pay it twice man anyway that was it for us that was it long Long sales week, long Here's video. Stats. Thanks for sticking around. Here's what the stats. Stats. Okay. stats. So we sold nineteen one thousand nine hundred and fifty five dollars. Right there. Right there. And um we had some cancellations, so we would have made it, but we yep. had cancellation. And then we sold forty four items. Yes. Which puts us over our six items a day. And our average sale price was right around forty four dollars. Seriously? It was. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. And we're and so this is goes to show that even selling little things like plush, as long as you're getting boosted in the algorithm, it helps you sell your more expensive stuff. We yeah. find that to be true across the board. Uh, so we don't worry about only listing high dollar items. We list everything. Anything that people will buy, we will list. And it's helping our sales dramatically. And apparently there is a market for just about everything. So Seriously. list it. Hey. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.